Hello, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Welcome back to Logic Pro 10 Beginner's Course. And this final lesson that we're going to have for the Beginner's Course, I feel like the course has covered quite a bit to make you comfortable within Logic Pro. But in this final lesson, I think I'm going to conclude with taking a look at the mixer, because obviously that's an important part of putting a, uh, a song together or a track together or just whatever project you're working on, you're going to need to know a little bit more about the mixer. So a couple ways to bring the mixer up. The shortcut on the keyboard is Command-2, and then you get this nice floating mixer right here. Makes it a little bit easier to work with. But let me close this out because there is additional ways to look at the mixer. You can click on the uh, mixer tab right here. It's going to bring it up in the project just on the bottom, and then you can scroll up and down to access you know the different parts of the mixer which we'll discuss here in a moment but let me close this guy out because I, I like the command 2 as a keyboard shortcut or you can go to window and open mixer and it gives you the floating mixer. The floating mixer for me is a little bit better to deal with I can move it around the screen I can continue to see things over here I don't know it's just a personal workflow choice you can decide as you go forward what you want but you, what you can see here on the mixer is uh, we've got all our each channel audio channel has got its different effects plugins and things like that listed through here for you uh, the EQ if you double click that it's gonna bring up the EQ and then of course however we EQ whatever we decide to do with our sets it's gonna reflect that in the window right there it gives you just a general quick outline of what, what you got going on with the EQ right there and let's say like on this channel there's a compressor let me open up the compressor there just to click on that you're gonna be able to see in the meter here if we hit play the gain reduction happening so let me see if we can get a little bit more uh, let's see. there we go so you can see the gain reduction happen from the compressor being displayed right there in the channel So what else do we have? We've got our individual channel fade up and down to be able to balance our different instruments. We've got our output. We've got our sends. Oh, let's look at this. This is going to be nice to know. Let's say you want to add a third party. We're on this channel here. We want to add a third party plugin. So you can see as I scroll up and down here, it's giving me like blank up and down arrow sections. So if I click down, I can add any internal plugin that I want that's built into Logic Pro. Or I can go down to my audio units that were scanned at installation and any audio units that I have available to me as third-party plugins or audio units now become available in this menu. So as you see we scroll through and it's just gonna highlight and ask us which one we want to pick and let's say we want to pick this guy and boom there's my third-party plugin added to that particular channel. So another nice feature about the floating mixer is let's say you know you, you see we've got an output channel, a master channel in the different channels. Let's say you didn't really want to see or have those. Of, I mean, they're still going to be functioning, but let's. we just don't need to look at them. Simply by clicking the filter up here, this is considered a filter. Now these channels aren't being deleted from use, they're just being deleted from our visual uh, point of reference right here. But that's a nice way to restructure that uh, individual stuff there. But also you can see when I was moving the volume up and down, it corresponds instantly with whatever that channel is that uh, that volume instruments uh, in charge of. So that's a quick overview of the mixer, how to access it, the general features of it, and adding a third-party plugin. I want to thank you if you followed the course and, and you know went through all the lessons with me. I appreciate the support, and hopefully you were able to learn something. The goal here is to just get you familiar enough with Logic Pro that when you're opening the DAW and moving around inside of it, it doesn't feel like a strange place to be. 
Um, there's a, a ton of things that Logic Pro has, a ton of, ton of capabilities, excuse me, that Logic Pro has available and can offer. Um, we didn't really get into too many in-depth, detailed uh, portions of that. This was just a big, broad stroke with the uh, paintbrush to give you an idea of what's inside of Logic Pro, where to access it, and kind of maybe get a little project going yourself. I may uh, in the future add in a more advanced course. Uh, this time I just wanted to do a beginner's course. I felt like that was something I hadn't seen a lot of and it'd be nice to put one out for everybody. So once again, thanks for joining us, Logic Pro 10 beginner's course. And uh, subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff on our YouTube channel. Um, we appreciate the support. And uh, we'll see you soon.